الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد أرسلنا نوحا إلى قومه فلبث فيهم ألف سنة إلا خمسين عاما فأخذهم الطوفان وهم ظالمون فأنجيناه وأصحاب السفينة وجعلناها آية للعالمين وإبراهيم إذ قال لقومه اعبدوا الله واتقوه ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون إنما تعبدون من دون الله أوثانا وتخلقون إفكا إن الذين تعبدون من دون الله لا يملكون لكم رزقا فابتغوا عند الله الرزق فابتغوا عند الله الرزق واعبدوه واشكروا له إليه ترجعون وإن تكذبوا فقد كذب أمم من قبلكم وما على الرسول إلا البلاء المبين صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين سورة عن كبوت we started last week and this is a مكي سورة so it definitely carries stories from the past and it focuses on proving the truthfulness of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from different angles in this part of the surah that we're going to do inshallah for the next two or three days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has briefly mentioned different anbiya all of these were well known to the Arab people the first one of them mentioned here is Hadnu ala nabina salatu was salam Hadnu was special in this the people of Hadnu were the first ones on earth who did shirk or associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his stories had come generation after generation to the people of Arab, they well knew had Nuh ala nabina sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ We sent Nuh to his people. فَلَبِثَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ إِلَّا خَمْسِينَ عَامَا So he stayed with them 1,000 less 50 years. So 950 years, had Nuh alayhi salam kept on calling people towards the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Had Nuh alayhi salam is also among the Ulul Azm, high-ranking Anbiya in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the Anbiya are very respectable and honorable, but among them, some are very special to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hadnu alayhi salam being one of them. And he went through a lot of suffering at the hands of his people. They would hit him, they would beat him, they would repeatedly try to kill him, they tried to strangulate him, all sorts of these things and in that continued on for not one or two or five or ten years. It continued for over nine decades, had, uh, uh, nine centuries, 950 years, uh, Nuh alayhi salam kept on calling them towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without giving up. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when he's being told, there is definitely consolation for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that other anbiya also went through these hardships at the hands of their people and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning the ultimate end of those people there is warning for those people who are troubling the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that there have been people who did what you are doing for much more much longer a time than you are doing and still see what happened at the end the end that you keep on calling and asking the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam for it definitely ultimately does come. فَأَخَذَهُمُ الطُّوفَانِ So when they did not listen to their Nabi, finally, ultimately, a tufan, a big, which was not only a flood, but also water from top, water from down, everywhere. They were surrounded, they were caught, they were by it. وَهُمْ ظَالِمُونَ And they were transgressors. فَأَنْجَيْنَاهُ وَأَصْحَابَ السَّفِينَةِ And what happened to Had Nuh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَنْجَيْنَاهُ We saved Had Nuh alayhi salam. وَأَصْحَاب وَأَصْحَابَ السَّفِينَةِ And the people of the ark, the people who climbed on the ark and became those who listened to Had Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam. وَجَعَلْنَاهَا آيَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we made this a sign for all the worlds. 
O Ibrahim, the next Nabi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about or mentioning is Had Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, who was thrown into fire and these obviously we've talked many times that Had Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was very well respected and well known among the Arab people. So Allah is reminding them that what did the people of Had Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam do to him in their own time. إِذْ قَالَ لِقَوْمِهِ When he said to his people, أُعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَاتَّقُوا Worship Allah, only Allah, Allah alone. وَاتَّقُوا And fear him, which means that do good and stay away from evil. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ This is better for you if you know. إِنَّمَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْثَانًا وَتَخْلُقُونَ إِفْكَ You only worship idols beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the exact same thing that the followers and the those who take the name of Hadith Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, they are doing in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam. Hadith Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam had to also face these kind of people and these kind of things that the people would follow idols. وَتَخْلُقُونَ إِفْقَى And you invent a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Nawazu billah has asked us to do it. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ لَا يَمْلِكُونَ لَكُمْ رِزْقَى Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling people in terms of their worldly needs that why is Allah the only one that you should call after? إِنَّ الَّذِينَ تَعْبُدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Definitely the ones that you worship beside Allah لَا يَمْلِكُونَ لَكُمْ رِزْقَى They have no power to give you rizq or provision. فَابْتَغُوا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الرِّزْقِ So seek provision with Allah. وَعْبُدُوا And when you seek provision from Allah, because you know that only Allah gives you rizq, the Arab people also used to say that these idols do not give us rizq. They knew that Allah has made Makkah sacred and the rizq is coming because of the command of Allah. So فَابْتَغُوا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الرِّزْقِ Seek rizq from Allah. وَعْبُدُوهُ وَشْكُرُوا لَهُ And worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be grateful to Him. At least see the rizq that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending from different places to you. At least be thankful over this and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ To him you are going to be returned. وَإِن تُكَذِّبُوا And if you reject, uh, if you reject me, فَقَدْ كَذَّبَ أُمَمٌ مِّنْ قَبْلِكُمْ Then many nations have rejected their messengers before you. So the Prophet ﷺ should tell them, the thing that escaped their minds was that they could not get beyond this fact. They thought that the Nabi is here for his own benefit. He is going to get more respect and become honorable if we listen to him. And the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is repeating again and again is that look at the stories of the previous anbiya. Very few people listen to them. But what happened at the end? Their respect, their status, their success was not in the least bit affected by people not following them or not respecting them. So the people of Makkah were also thinking along the same lines that the Prophet ﷺ wants to be followed. He has some personal interest in being followed and getting respect. So if they, if you uh, give a lie to me, if you reject me, then it does not matter. This has happened many times before. فَقَدْ كَذَّبَ أُمَمٌ مِّنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمَا عَلَى الرَّسُولِ إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ The job of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam upon which his success or his respect depends is did he deliver the message or not. Once he delivers the message, his job in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his purpose is served. And he does not care about respect. He does not care that you, it's not going to make him more respectable or honorable or increase him in some way that he is followed by more people. And the Prophet ﷺ has mentioned that on the Day of Judgment there will be some Anbiya who would come with one or two followers. All their life they did Dawah and they will have one or two followers. It does not matter. They are still Anbiya more respected and better than anyone else who is not a Nabi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who are steadfast on the Quran. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiul alim. Wa tu'a alayna inna kanta tawabur rahim. Allahumma ja'alna min ahli al-Quran. Allahumma ahluka wa ahluka wa khasatuk. اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جميع الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن اللهم إنا نسلك العفو والعافية والمعافاة الدائمة في الدين والدنيا والآخرة وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه المعين آمين برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين